All right, in this video, ooh, ooh, hot, hot, hot. Uh, drinking my kadak chai. Okay. In this video, I thought I would share with you um, about how much money am I making via YouTube, how I can earn more money, and why I'm not interested to make more money. Okay. And uh, I'll give you my reasons. If you want, you can believe me. If you don't want, you don't need to believe me. It's up to you. Either way, you know, I don't care. Here's my Kadak Chai, you know, here's my Kadak Chai. But if you are a person who has been watching my channel for, you know, months or years, you would know that I keep it real. Okay, so there's no bullshit. There is no fake stories. I keep it as real as possible. So let's uh, immediately dive in as to how much money am I making from YouTube? How much money do I earn per month? Okay, let's address this once and for all. As I drink my masala kadak chai, I love this. Okay, so first and foremost, let's address the question, how much do I earn per month? Okay, how much do I earn per month? Now, there's a problem in me revealing these figures. Okay, there's a problem. And I'll tell you why. Number one is, num number one, uh, if I were to ask you, can you give me your private details? Can you give me your name, your location, where you stay, your father, mother's names, full names, passport details, their bank account details, and uh, can you show me your bank statements? Would you show this publicly on, say, YouTube, or would you put it publicly for the world to see? I'm very sure your answer would be, no, I'm not going to do that. In fact, when I ask members, even 20 year olds, imagine uh, even 18 year olds who want to join my WhatsApp groups, I ask them, show me your ID, like show me your ID or college ID. Even that they refuse to show. Why? Because there's a danger of revealing this information online and you become a target for scammers, fraudsters, even uh, dangerous individuals, okay? Uh, forget the part of people asking you money. So you need to understand that there is a safety issue at place. Um, I'm exposing myself to unwanted risks. So that is why it is not recommended to reveal uh, financial details. Okay, as it is, as it is. I have revealed my full name, my wife's full name, my child's full name. I've even revealed the location of where I stay. If you Google search, easily you'll find out. So I have done much more than what most of you would do. And some of you who comment under my channel, you keep an anonymous name. You keep a fake profile picture. You don't even reveal who you are. So when you're not ready to reveal all this, how can I reveal my bank statements or how much do I earn? And the reason why I don't want to put an approximate is because either you'll believe or not. For example, if I were to say I earn $10,000 per month for someone who is struggling to make $1,000 a month, they'll say this is bullshit. And someone who earns 100,000 will say, oh, you're earning peanuts. So I keep it very simple and I tell people, the actual answer, I tell people, I'll not reveal how much do I earn per month, but my target per day, my target per day is 500 US dollars. Okay. Now, there's a reason why I make it at 500 US dollars and not 1000 US dollars or 2000 because every day to earn more than $500 is a challenge. Okay. Every day to earn $500 is a challenge. Um, and if I target less, which I can achieve, I'm in my comfort zone. So I keep $500. So this should give you an idea how much it is I earn per you know month. So you can calculate roughly in the range of 300 to 500 US dollars uh, per day. Okay. Now keep one thing in mind. You might say, oh, that is peanuts. That is nothing. Oh, I know these guys, they're earning $10,000 per day. Yeah, it also comes down to what are your expenses? See, this is the part where you guys don't use your brains. Okay. A person who is staying in a village, a person who is staying in a village, a person who stays in a forest or in a cheap, affordable place, 
where rent is cheap, food is cheap, water electricity is cheap. You know, you can save a lot of money. So the problem is you guys don't focus on what is your expense. Like if you were to stay in New York, Manhattan or even Dubai, okay, $500 per month in Dubai, if you deduct a good life and you check savings, you would hardly be left with anything. Okay, I'm, I'm talking of living as a businessman, as a freelancer. You would hardly save anything. But if the same person were to live in, let's say, Vietnam, Cambodia, or maybe some place in Africa or uh, Tibet, or let's say Thailand, you can save much more. So you have to calculate what are your expenses. Like I gave you a very simple example in my previous video where uh, I said um, one bedroom in Sarja, where I used to stay, this is nearly 12 years ago, was 45,000 dirhams those days. Then they increased the following year to 55,000 dirhams. 55,000 dirhams. Okay. Here, here, I'll give you the exact amount, how much I'm paying. Uh, calculator. Just, just give me one second. I'll, I'll tell you exactly how much am I paying. One, two, three into 12. 7,000 is my rent per month. Okay. 7,000. Uh, right now they've, give, you know, they've brought it down. So when I calculate that is high baht to AD. Okay. Uh, I'll give you exact amount. It won't one, two, three. Okay. So in Dubai, in Dubai, an apartment, one bedroom, I was paying 45,000 per, uh, per year, 45,000. Okay. Then it increased to 55. Here I'm paying per year for a private villa. I'm paying 8,500 dirhams. Let that sink in. So where is 45,000 or 50,000 or whatever increased to 60 and where is 8,000? So that is what you need to consider. What are your expenses? Like internet here is for free. Internet in Dubai, I used to pay 500 bucks per month. Okay. I think 500 or 700. Mm -hmm. And then I had a mobile roaming also. I had the internet of the house also. So you need to consider what are your expenses. And finally, the last one is what are your savings? How much do you manage to save, save comfortably? Okay, you can really tighten your belt and eat only rice and uh, curry and really tighten your belt. There are a lot of people who do that. In my case, I provide my wife the best food. I provide my child the best of what is available here. Not branded items, not branded items, but the best of like food is always fresh, fresh prawns, fresh crabs, fresh meat, fresh chicken. It is always fresh and they don't have to worry about food. Like, for example, chocolates. Okay. We are talking of real good um, branded items. I like uh, branded uh, like Kinder, you know, the Kinder eggs. My daughter eats one every single day. So that's a luxury which she has, which most of the children don't have. So I'm not trying to justify, but what I'm trying to tell you is we live a very comfortable life. We live a very comfortable life. Okay. So that costs money, but luckily because I stay in Samui, because I stay in a forest, because this is far away from city life, it's much more affordable. Like if this same house where I'm staying, the same private villa, which I'm paying 7,000 per month, if I were to stay somewhere in Bangkok, no way it would have cost maybe three times more. So you need to keep these factors in mind. So I hope the first part is sorted out. It's not how much do I earn per month? It is how much do I save after living comfortably? Do you understand? I hope it makes sense. Some of you may not make even sense. So my target per day is 500 US dollars. Okay. We spend money living a very comfortable life. And also I need to keep savings and all that. And I provide for my wife who's not working. I provide for my kid. I provide for myself. We eat every single day. Very good food. We, if you have to eat out, we can even eat out. We don't have to worry about these expenses. So it's a comfortable life. And I'm lucky that my wife is not crazy about very hyper expensive brands. She likes to purchase secondhand clothes, which are locally available. Most of the people here buy good secondhand clothes. Even for me, 
I don't spend too much money on clothes. You can see it's all cheap stuff. But technology, I spend a good amount of money. Like these are my iPads for my gaming. I have three iPads just for a game. I, I, I told you I have, see, the smartphone devices. Uh, I have three here, which are Samsung. I have two iPhones. I have around how many? One, two, I think uh, seven or eight laptops. I had 14 gaming devices. So I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to brag, but all I'm trying to tell you is I'm pretty happy. Like the gaming computer, I have a 4090 graphics card with a state of the art uh, gaming, the same PC, which I never use because I'm always busy. I have two uh, uh, iMac. I have the Mac Studio, <coughs> uh, MacBook Pro. So, okay. Anyway, so what I'm trying to tell you is it's a very comfortable life, very happy life. Okay. Now comes, now, sorry, comes. Now comes the, how much do I earn from YouTube? This is a question I keep getting. How much do I earn from YouTube? And people say, let me drink this getting cold. People say, you, uh, you know, especially the guys who don't like me, like to say, uh, you're earning peanuts. You're earning peanuts from YouTube. You are absolutely right, 100%. You are absolutely right that I earn peanuts from YouTube. And the reason why I earn peanuts from YouTube is because YouTube is not my primary source of income. Lucky for me, I'm not depending on YouTube. Okay. Uh, to give you a rough idea, I earn around uh, an average of $300 per month per month from YouTube. Okay. Now you must be thinking like, oh, after all the effort, all the headache, all the kissing, you need to understand that I'm not using YouTube to make money. Absolutely not. You'll be surprised to know that yes, I can earn much more money from YouTube. I can. It's not impossible. I've been on this platform now for 12 years. But why is it that I don't want to earn more money from YouTube? Why? I'll, I'll give you logical facts. You tell me if you think I'm bluffing or not. Okay. Now, before, before COVID, uh, I was earning roughly a thousand dollars, uh, an average per month from YouTube. My views were less, my subscribers were less, but I was earning much more after COVID. I think because everyone jumped on the YouTube bandwagon and YouTube started losing maybe advertisers and became woke and all that. They, my views have increased, my subscribers have increased, the watch time has increased, but the revenue from thousand dollars is now come to 300 US dollars. Okay, so YouTube is paying its content creators much more less. Now I can increase it. I can increase it. How can I increase it? Very simple. If I pay YouTube ads and Google ads, my video will feature much more prominently my videos. Number one. Number two is I'll have to employ a marketing or SEO agency. I get plenty of emails, plenty of WhatsApp messages uh, where good marketing and SEO agencies offer their services. If you check my previous video before COVID, I had nearly decided that I would spend a massive amount of money, almost like $20,000 per month on <coughs> boosting the channel, but I decided not to and I'll tell you why. I have to get a marketing and SEO agency for that. I have to pay them every month. Okay. It's a team. Then I have to get my own team. Uh, like if you see, for example, a YouTuber, any, any like Marcus, uh, MKBHD or Durv Rathi or any famous YouTuber, let's say beer biceps. If you're Indian, Indian, you'd know that they have a research team to research trending topics. They have, uh, you know, uh, uh video editors okay who will make the video look good they have even uh, a maybe in some case even a director who will listen to your whole video and he will cut pieces where he'll make it more interesting there'll be also a script writer there will also be a camera crew so it's like linus tech tips there is a whole team that is involved in making your video professionally and even a thumbnail there are people who are professionals there are people who will you just have to shoot the video they will do the rest it's like a movie okay and for this you need to pay money you need to pay extra money and you know honestly speaking then it stops being fun it stops being enjoyable 
I will not enjoy this anymore. It it stops being a hobby. It stops being something that I do it just to relax. My, it becomes a job and I don't want it to be a job. I don't want to coordinate with people and have a headache and have a meeting. And It takes time. Why do you think MKBHD or Durvrati don't come out with videos every single day or you see, I come, I come out with two, three videos per day. They come out with one video per week because that is the amount of work it takes. It takes a lot of work. And for them, YouTube is a full time profession. It's a full time career. And I'll tell you what is the drawback of this. <coughs> there are a lot of um, there was a um, uh, there's a YouTuber in uh, UK. I think his name is Brody or something. He speaks on uh, boxing and uh, he speaks on uh, boxing MMA. Um, this guy has a million subscribers. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get it right now. Um, uh, one second. Bro, Brody. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just see if I can get his... Uh, what is his name? Uh, Brody, Brody, Brody. I can't get his name. Okay, so this guy has... Uh, to give you an idea, um, he has... Like I saw his channel, he has like 3 million or 4 million subscribers. But this video of his, this video which he released three weeks ago, where he was speaking on a particular topic, it only got 30,000 views. Imagine he has a million plus subscribers, but he only managed to get 30,000 views. Don't you think that is a loss? You put so much of money, effort, time into a video with your production crew, with your SEO, and you got only 30,000 views. Don't you think it'll drive you mad? Okay. And then it becomes a pressure. Why? In order to cut down the expense, you need to get a sponsor. And the sponsor, when he gives you money, he's not giving you for free. These sponsors, where they say, this video is sponsored by Good Health, Better Health, or uh, VPN, NordVPN, whatever. You know, you have to sit down with them for meetings or Zoom calls or emails. They will give you a target. If you sell, if you give so many views or so many clicks, this is the slab you'll get. If we'll give you a link, affiliate link, if so many people click, you'll get this much commission. So it stops being fun. It starts being a job and they are under tremendous pressure to ensure every video gets you know, a lot of views and then they even pay money to get more views like this guy. What's his name? Unbox therapy. Uh, there was an allegation that he is to actually purchase views he is to purchase views, buy views uh, just to keep his channel up. And then the pressure that if you're getting millions of views, you will also get millions of admirers. You'll get millions of haters. You'll get millions of, you know, <laughs> people who will. Uh, keep looking at your channel and if you if your channel starts going down they'll say oh see he's declining oh see he's no longer relevant you know that pressure is that I don't want that pressure and let me tell you one more thing in order for me to grow my channel I will have to uh, travel I'll have to travel to these events conferences where they give speeches like even Sadhguru for that matter you see he goes to events where he goes there, he speaks, he takes Q&A, question answers. Why? Because the more people you meet, no more people will come to know about you, the more people will follow you. But along with that comes a headache that there will be haters in the audience. Not everyone will admire you. And then to travel takes money and time. To prepare the speeches that you have to give takes money and time. And you are put in the spotlight with a live camera. If anything you say is taken out of context, or you make a mistake, you are finished. So I don't want to go through all that. I'm not giving you excuses. I'm stating facts. My main revenue model, my, my main revenue model is the clients and customers who pay me money for resume rebranding, interview coaching, job and strategy. And the biggest one is personal branding. Personal branding is where I make the actual bread and butter. And personal branding is where the person wants to earn more by changing his image, by changing his perception and he makes more money. So I have to ensure that the money that he paid me, I help him succeed. And this doesn't take overnight. It's not like within one day I'll do it or one week I'll do it. It takes one, two, five years, like one, two, three, four, five. Like it takes time, man. 
So YouTube for me is, what is YouTube? YouTube for me is more like reaching out to people. It's therapeutic for me. It is more like I'm talking. See, right now I'm talking to you. It's, you know, many people say when they watch my videos, oh, it's like talking to a friend. Yes, this is exactly what it is. And understand this much. I am 47 years old. I'm going to be 50. Whether you believe it or not, I didn't want to live my life where I work like a dog. I slog like a dog doing what I don't like with targets and pressure and all that uh, headache that comes every day looking, oh, how much money can I earn? How much money can I earn? How much money can I save? How much money uh, can I stop spending? I didn't want to get into that rat race. I wanted to enjoy my life. I wanted to enjoy every single day. And this what I do, this videos that I do, I enjoy my life. Just, just look at it. See, I'm having Kadak Chai. I'm having Kadak Chai in front of you. And this is not an act. I enjoy making a Kadak Chai. I enjoy making videos. Any video I like. I like that. I like giving bad words whenever I feel like. I like wearing this, this you know, banyan or this cheap shirt. I don't have to, you know, dress up, wear a suit and tie, and get up on time. I enjoy this life, man. You see my videos when I'm walking out in nature. I enjoy my life. And that is priceless. And... You will not understand this now, but every day when you get up and you have to go to work and take shit from a boss and take shit from your clients and uh, waiting for your salary and then when you get your salary, you have to pay all the expense and you're left with nothing. You think that is life? You will be frustrated at some point. At some point in your life, you'll be like, what the hell is this? Is this life? So there's more to life than just working, earning a salary, paying your expense. I wanted to do what I enjoy. And this is what I do. So it is not just, oh, how much money do I keep earning and how much money do I keep saving? I don't want to be paranoid about it. And remember, it's not how much money you earn. It's how much money you can save. That is what matters. And for me, there's one other, one other step. Do I enjoy what I'm doing? Do I love what I'm doing? Am I happy doing what I'm doing? You know, every single day when I get up in the morning, I look forward to the day. I enjoy my life. And it's not because uh, there are some people who enjoy their work only because they have VIP treatment or they get a buffet or they get to rub shoulders with the CEO or it's an elegant office or it's, oh, I'm working for Emirates. I'm working for, um, you know, Google. No, I'm working for me. I'm working for me, working for Loy Macedo, me, my brand, I. So even if tomorrow, nobody can terminate me. If you work for Google or you work for the same, the day they terminate you, finish, you'll feel lost. You'll be like, sheesh, man, I give 20 years of my life. Now, you can't say I'm a Google employee. I'm working for Emirates. No, I'm a professional. Where do you work? You have to work for a new company. You have to start from scratch. But for me, I don't have to start from scratch. I carry my brand wherever I go. Okay. So, in conclusion, what I want to tell you is, number one, how much do I earn? 300 to 500 is my target per day. Okay. It is, that is my target and the goal is to enjoy every day. Spend what is required. Live comfortably, eat good food, go out maybe watch a movie, whatever, relax, doing what I love while having decent savings and the expenses are very low. It's no point staying in a place where you earn very high and you spend also very high. That is why I didn't want to live in India. It's too much. India looks cheap and affordable. It is not. Number one. Number two, how much money do I make from YouTube? I hardly make $300 a month and I don't care. The reason being is YouTube is not my primary source of income. It is something that I do because I love this. I'm passionate about it. I can reach out to people. I can talk to people. And you must have noticed I'm very talkative. So it's very therapeutic for me. It's like talking to a friend. I always loved talking, training, teaching people. And people who cannot afford my services get a little bit of knowledge and help. And it's my door to the world and to market and promote my brand. Okay. So the second part is YouTube. The third is I can make money. I can increase my 
uh, revenue stream on YouTube, but that will involve me. Like I told you, having a research team, having a production crew, having script writers, having uh, an editing team. Money doesn't come in easy. You have to really slog it out. And don't think that these guys just make a video and that's a, They have a marketing agency, SEO agency, uh, promotional agency. They have to go travel, literally travel, do events, talk to people, network with the event. It becomes a job and I don't enjoy that. I don't want to travel. I don't want to meet new people. I don't want to stay in a foreign country. I don't, I just don't want that. I enjoy this. Make my videos, eat good food, watch movies, play video games, be with my family. I'm very happy. You know, going for my nature walks. Okay. So I enjoy what I do. And last, if not the least, I don't work for anyone. I work for myself. I'm my own boss. I don't have to shake shit from anyone. I don't have to take crap from anyone. And the day you work for yourself, the day you're your own boss, Take it from me. I'll give it to you in writing. The day you are your own boss, the day you work for yourself, the day you enjoy what you do, no matter how much people will pay you, no matter how much. You'll say, no boss, I prefer earning less, but where I'm happy. There are lots of people who, I'm not saying they earn peanuts, they earn substantially enough to live a comfortable life, but they don't want to take stress, headache and shit. And as you grow older, that is much more important to you to enjoy what you're doing rather than to do report to someone, take shit from someone, be a slave to someone. And that's not the way to. Anyway, I hope I give you a perspective. I hope this opens your eyes to some of the realities and <laughs> stop, stop being immature where you focus on, Oh, your Lamborghini or your big house or your private jet or hot babes. Someone who's really rich in the real world, they don't flaunt all this. This is not normal. This is bullshit. It's just a fake ass life, like expensive cars in this for what? Okay. Sit in the car and get a good experience, but you have to maintain it for what? Why, why do you want all that expense? Anyway, maybe you like it, but for me, I'm very happy with my little world that is here. Okay. This is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and feel free. If you still want to call me, hey, you're hardly earning peanuts. You're a beggar. You're this fine. Baba, go to some other rich multimillionaire, billionaire. Follow them. Why? I follow my channel. Anyway, I keep it real. This is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. Feel free. This is me signing off. Take care.